come to you confessing that you are holy, that you indeed are God in heaven, that you control all things, you know all things, you order all things. But in the midst of what we know about you, what we confess about you, what we read about you in your holy word, your scriptures, we still come to you this morning with hearts terribly heavy, our minds unbelievably confused, and with questions that are very, very difficult. It is interesting, Father, that when we gather on a time like this, we come from all different denominational creeds across the racial spectrum. It's in times like these where we are reminded of our mutual desperation before you. And so we, um, we just tell you that we need your grace. We beg you for your grace and for your mercy and for your peace. <laughs> for extended families from North Carolina to, to Texas, as I've met families and soldiers and families of soldiers last night, may your grace and mercy and peace be upon them. I ask you to give us the strength and the courage, I guess is the right word, and the peace to come before you with our questions and to ask you to, to speak to us. I thank you for um, how this community rallied last night all over how they supported each other. And may we continue to do that. In the midst of all this, all this tragedy and all these questions and all these concerns and our desires for health and healing, I thank you that the one common confession and truth that gives us hope in the midst of what seems to be completely hopeless is that at just the right time, according to Galatians 4, God sent forth His Son, born of a woman, so He might live on this earth, die on a cross, and be resurrected. Which is the hope we cling to, it is the promise we have, and is the strength we deeply need in this time of great trouble. I thank You as the psalmist says, You incline Your ear to hear us. And we just continue to pray together for grace and mercy and peace. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. And my pastor Roy Smith from uh, Tree Life Christian Fellowship will lead us. Yeah. Okay. I want to ask again if you would bow your heads and pray with us. Father, I echo my brother's prayer ahead of me. And in this city where this model of honoring heroes was birthed in a way that has become the icon of hope and joy, a model of what it is to love my neighbor, when my neighbor comes from all over this country. For these soldiers are our heroes in many ways. And with this tragedy that happened on yesterday, it does not debase that concept. But it epitomizes what a hero looks like. And in the city of Midland on yesterday, in the midst of tragedy, we got to see soldiers behave as they were trained. They were trained to respond to catastrophes, to the need of their comrades. 
And without being named, they step to the plate. We don't know why. All the, the, the questions of why in many ways will never be answered. But we do know this. That you are a God who loves and who cares and who understands. So I ask that you would fill our hearts with some sense of uh, understanding, some sense that whatever the questions are, you are the answer. And as I looked around as the people of this city were approaching this event, I was struck in my heart knowing that this is Midland, Texas. This is the kind of response that we give to heroes, to those who matter to us. And these men and their families are large in our eyes. They won't stop being our heroes. But this tragedy has even more so developed the concept in our hearts and in our minds that they are large to us. They are bigger heroes today than they were yesterday. So all around me, people are hurting of all ethnicities, of all backgrounds. So come among us, Lord, and help us. Help us as a community that became one of the greatest models and are one of the greatest models of what love looks like. Help us now to demonstrate that even more. We love these men. We love their families. Now show us how to do that even in a better way. Thank you for this outpouring of love. And now we look to you to comfort our hearts. And we pray this in the glorious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Patrick.